All right. We're winding up. We've got about 10 minutes. This is kind of the fun part. It's also kind of the dry part. In everything that we've talked about today, to date, we haven't really talked about key performance indicators. What's really going on with my investment? What's going on with my pipeline? If I'm getting an expected result, or, or uh, I'm not getting an expected result, why? So this is part of the lead management piece, and we're going to talk about some very specific stages of, of key performance indicators. Newly assigned leads, contacted leads, qualified versus converted. We'll try and get through this in the remaining 15 minutes. But some of these stages are always bad. Some of them are always good. Some of them are neutral. And sometimes what your job is as a sales manager, as a broker, or even if it's just you looking after your investment, is try to determine why do these numbers look this way. And the better clarity you have on that, the more able you are to adapt and fix and, and, and pick up. So let's, let's take a look at some of this. I love this, by the way. We don't have smoke, but we have mirrors. Uh, all right. So some people use Salesforce. Some people use uh, Velocify. Some people use, this is, this is Loan Tech. And, and by the way, I, we, we have, usually we do lender data, but I wasn't sure. I didn't want to throw one of my customers. I got a couple customers in the room, by the way. I didn't want to throw Mike's information up here for you all to look at. But, but you should be able to know how many leads are in a given camp, where your low-hanging fruit is. So right now, this is actually our team. We, by the way, we use our own technology. So how we run our sales. I know these people have seen demos. That's just like an application. You've seen a demo with us. You're qualified to make a decision. But that's different than somebody who's converted who says they're going to buy. Right? So if I take an application and you tell me, yeah, this is... Uh, it's okay. I'm not sure if it does enough for me. I, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it. You know, hey, I've got your application. I'm still going to get you in processing, right? But your priority as far as my immediate follow-up is different than the converted lead that says, wow, this is really great. I'm going to talk to my wife about it tomorrow night. We're going to get back to you. The difference is one has got a converted lead is somebody that says, I'm not going into processing right now, right? But I'm leading that way, and I've got a very specific date or event or time frame, right? When I'm going to let you know. Your ability to track that will actually help you manage your sales process going forward when you're managing these contacts. How many, how many people are we talking to? And we're going to talk about some of these stats where there's some things in here that, uh, that are unique to the, to the loan officers in a bit. Also, I want to know where my business comes from. And I want to know if I'm paying for something, right? How it's performing. Our website, loantech.com, we produced about uh, 113 leads over this time period, and we closed between 6 and 7%. It's not bad. It's all right. Maybe we could optimize some of that. We went to uh, Google AdWords, which is down low. We didn't get as many Google Ads. We got this sorted by number of leads right now. We got 15% out of Google AdWords. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. But some of these pages uh, that I'm going to leave off here, I was paying for services and I was getting traffic, but it wasn't converting. Well, I'm paying for traffic, it's not converting. I'm not going to do that very long. But you'll need a metrics like this to help manage your input. And in the end, if you do all this, you can lead by intelligent design. You know, if you put all this together, whether you use loan tech or not, you know, <laughs> you can make loans and you can grow your pipeline. Don't get too far out in front of yourselves with your ROI and your investments, right? Because leads are expensive. Your average lead shop, you know, even individuals, I think if they start getting into this, they're going to spend five hundred, a thousand bucks just to get started. You know, branches, you know, some branches two, three thousand bucks a month, some twenty, thirty. It depends how big you scale it. Don't get too out in front of it until you got the tools to manage it. And uh, if you manage it, you invest in it. You should get intelligent ROI out of it. <laughs>